Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now, the button below. Alhamdulillah, a reminder for myself, Ana Abdukul Ajeez, so Da'eef, O Miskeen, Zalim, O Jahan, and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah that Allah gave us this beatific life that is deep in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad That when the recitations are melodious and the soul uses that energy to move. And these associations like we said before the Gole Bulbul, these are the beatific souls are beatific birds of praise. Their praise most beatific, more beatific than the praise of angels because they have a will, they have a will to choose not to. And when the will is in submission Allah makes everything that soul does beatific, immensely beatific. These majlis they circle around Sayyidina Muhammad and as they're reciting all these beatific lights from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad dressing these majlises. These are the majlis of love and muhabbat. We pray that Allah always keep our tongue, our heart, our soul, our body in those associations. Amen. That that love of Sayyidina Muhammad when it begin to hit upon our soul it begins to draw us into the Divinely Presence. The lights that emanating from the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad are the lights of Holy Qur'an. If you want Holy Qur'an and you want the lights of Holy Qur'an then make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad In this holy month of the cave where Allah reminding for us, run, run from all that they worship and run towards the cave of rahmah that perchance I will shower my rahmah and mercy upon you if you went into the right cave. The cave of Rahmah, the cave of Allah's love that is existing within that cave because Allah says, I'm not on heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm on the heart of my believer. No small believers, let's go to the top believer, Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah this holy hadith from Prophet is giving us our isharats. And then Prophet described, Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah. So then Allah is teaching us that, that's my house. The holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is my house. Who's in my house? Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and Allah I'm with them. These are the best of company in your life. Keep the love of Nabiyeen, follow Siddiqeen, they make you to be Shuhada and everything around you to be Salihin. Means Allah teaching us that's the cave. If you find yourself in a cave filled with not that character of people, you're not in the right cave. That cave must be Nabiyeen. So there must be immense amount of talk about the greatness of Sayyidina Muhammad They must be immensely talking about their love, the ishq and everywhere they look they see their Lord. For you cannot see Allah but you see the signs of Allah and the greatest sign of Allah is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad What are you going to see, Allah? Astaghfirullah, isn't that something you can even imagine? But everywhere they'll see the signs and the reality that Allah want to give them 
of the Haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya which is the Nabi'een. They understood everything is beatific on this earth, why? Because Prophet was coming. This is called tashrif. When you have a guest that's coming that's important to you, you don't greet him in short, right? Because you say, ah oh, he doesn't, I don't care who's coming through the door. What Allah told us, no. When I wanted an audience with Sayyidina Muhammad I sent my malaika with a special jubba and water from paradise. He sent the best, not small angels, he sent the archangels that go to my beloved servant, this is the best of what I have, you go and deliver this message. They came with the jubba from paradise, water from paradise, Allah requesting your presence, asking, not demanding, Allah is requesting your presence. Come whoosh with paradise and wear this special dress that Allah sent and He sent the best of limousines. Because now you like somebody you send a limousine, an important speaker comes you send a nice car for them to show what? Tashrif that I'm respecting you because to respect creation is to respect Allah One whom has no respect has no respect with Allah and Allah sent His buraq. So I sent you the best ride, it's going to come take you, dress you and deliver you. Allah just showing the immense love of Nabi'een, the immense reality of Prophet the immense beauty of that reality that everything adorned on this earth because Sayyidina Muhammad was coming. Siddiqeen means the holy companions in our cave. Is, is the teaching of our cave ba based on the companions? And that's what we call the turuqs, 41 tariqahs from the teachings of Imam Ali Salam in Siddiqiyya reality. And one tariqah from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq Naqshbandiyya from the Siddiqiyya realities, these are Siddiqiyoon. And shuhada that amongst them their shaykhs must be Ahlul Basira. That they martyred themselves and Allah says, they're not dead but they're very much alive, you don't see it. And these Ahlul Basira, their hearts are open and they witness what Allah want them to witness. They're not blind on earth because then Allah said, they're blind in heavens if they're blind on earth. Means they don't see here, you think they're going to see there? That's not the guide and the shaykh that Allah is describing, that's not the cave of that reality. And because of the uloom and the knowledges and the power that flowing, they all become salihin. And they pick up their battle against shayateen. And this cave of rahmah, this cave of mercy is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's why when we're running to it Allah's presence is in that reality. That don't go anywhere else, don't be distracted by anything in this world, find the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Some say they love Qur'an and they don't want hadith, they are liars, kazab. For if they love the Qur'an they would be running to manzil al Qur'an, where did the Qur'an and where is the Qur'an emanating? It's emanating from the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad it hasn't stopped. Anyone think that the, the Musaf is the Qur'an? No, no it's not. This is a manifestation, how the Qur'an is alive, not created, not manifested and ever flowing ocean of reality. So where is that flowing from? From the same heart that brought it on earth. So ever emanating from the reality of that soul, that holy soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So if they love Qur'an they would be running towards Sayyidina Muhammad to be dressed and blessed by its reality. What they read is Furqan, book of right and wrong. The Qur'an requires the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to begin to melt into your heart. 
And those two rivers begin to dress you and illuminate the power of that Qur'an Qaf. Its qudra and its power has to be released from the heart of Prophet so that you can receive the nur of the noon at the end of Qur'an. If that nur doesn't come to you, you're reading Furqan and everyone on earth now is reading Furqan because the ones who like it and don't like it they want to read what these crazy people believe. So they're not getting the light of it, they're reading it. Its reality and its power is with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because then it unlocks like a ATM card. We said with my kids when they didn't know what these little cards were, they would go to Starbucks and grab them and say, Daddy I got all the Starbucks cards. I say, you didn't put money on them, <laughs> these are just for your entertainment per uh, purposes. An adult knows that card is just a means, you got to charge it up first. Then it has a power, you can go around and buy everything you need, otherwise just a piece of plastic. So means there has to be an authorization, that authorization comes from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And then the teaching that on this month of running to the cave that this is a hijrah, Muharram starts that, Ya Rabbi I'm step with my right foot, this is the, the beginning of this year, 12 months of my journey. I step with no haram asking to move towards your realities. By the month of Safar the cave, the cave is opening and appearing before them. And the guides whom are guiding and they're not blind, they're guiding into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And as they're entering into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad everyone whom loves them is attached to their soul by this muhabbat. They don't try to round up everybody's body and to bring them because the only way you can reach this reality is with love and muhabbat. You love them, you'll be with them. Holy hadith is you'll be with whom you love. Their love is so immense and that's the reality of their magnetism. Their magnetic attraction because Allah granted them that love the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is their polarity. As a result their wujud is locked on course. That's what we described from Surat Al-Fat. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ No, إِنَّ فَتَانَكَ فَتَنْ مُبِينًا What is a clear, a clear victory? When Allah grant your soul to be locked on to the coordinates of Sayyidina Muhammad that your path is moving on Siratul Mustaqeem and that all your life Allah yansurukullahu nasran aziza. That Allah's might and majesty is behind you defending you from every type of difficulty. I'm going to take away all the sins of your future, I'm going to wash away all the sins of your past. Because why? You are on a course into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad you will be washed and cleansed and brought into that reality. So then in this month of protection what Mawlana Shaykh Adnan brought for us as a awrad was Surat Al-Feel. Surat Al-Feel, Haji Shahid, you're, you have that one you do all the time, Surat Al-Feel inshaAllah. Surah 105 of Holy Qur'an Mawlana Shaykh Adnan gave as a wazifa that every day from what you recite also recite seven times Surat Al-Fil. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka biya sahabil feel Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil Wa arsal alayhim tayran ababil Tarmihim bi hijaratim min 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah most compassionate and most merciful. Seest thou not or have you not learned as alam, have you not learned about how your Rabb and how your Lord dealt with Ashab al-Feel, companions of the elephant? Did he not make their treacherous plans to go astray? And he had sent against them flights of ababil, the birds that would attack. This was a King Abrah who wanted to overtake Mecca before the birth of Prophet in the year of the birth. But this was in Muharram when he decided to attack and take over Hijaz, take over the Kaaba and make his place to be the center of worship, the shaitan. Go back into there, you finish this. Striking them with stones of baked clay, then did make them like an empty field of stalks and straw. Mean Allah is I obliterated them. Like dust, I threw them all over the floor, there was nothing left of them from birds that were carrying pieces of clay that Mawlana Shaykh described like lava. That how they were able to carry it nobody understood but it was lava and only Allah say from the tafsir Sayyidina ibn Abbas that there was a name on each stone. Whomever made intention to come against the reality of Allah a stone appeared in the bird's hand three and each had a name and a lava. And when the bird released it, it was a guided missile straight into the target in the head of that individual. Each had a name and each had a destined target. Allah was showing advanced weaponry at that time. Allah's weaponry is superior, it had a GPS and a guidance system. It didn't, they didn't miss a single target. It wasn't random where the birds were, whoa, whoa, whoa where we're gonna throw, where we're gonna throw this, just whoosh, Right there, your name had it, the target was there and the bullseye hit. What then Allah wound for us in dunya now? That Allah wound from us, Prophet inspiring, awliyaullah teaching that your heart is that cave. When you run to the cave and when you love this reality of Allah love the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad your heart becomes filled with that reality. As a result of being filled with that reality your heart becomes like a Kaaba. Because Allah is describing then, I'm not on heaven, I'm not on earth but if you're following what they're guiding you you'll find my light and my love to begin to emanate within your heart. Do you see the signs of my love in your heart yet? Do you have the love of Nabi'een? Do you have the love of Siddiqeen? Do you have the love of Shuhada? And are you in the company of Salihin? Then Allah just say, you're on your path. Your heart is now moving to be a Kaaba because my love is in your heart. If you understand this month of Safar and what we talked last night, don't run to anyone else to relieve your problems, to bring you closer to something. You struggle, you strive, you run towards Allah and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and look in your life and see, who's your companionship? I know a bunch of criminals but I hope I'm going to be in paradise. I show you your friends, I show you who you are. Show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. You have that expression? Yeah, you all your friends are motorcycle bikers and you say, no I'm going to paradise? Hmm. Your, your phone is on autopilot. <laughs> where, 
where were we? <laughs> show me your friends, I'll show you who you are, yeah. That's for us to understand the heart. These are not philosophies, these are everyday courses to bring this to be real in our life right now. When the shaykhs are giving an awrad of recite this seven times a day and you're, rec you're reading Holy Qur'an the Qur'an is talking about the protection of the Kaaba. Allah is saying, I protected the house of my belief. I protect the house of my belief. Why should I protect you? Is you in your heart or Allah is in the heart? If you're living a life in which they're teaching, I'm trying my best Ya Rabbi to taslim, I'm trying my best to struggle in your way. Ya Rabbi I'm trying my best through every type of difficulty. You are my defender Ya Rabbi. Then Allah remind, don't worry, if I save the house of bricks and stones your heart is more precious to me. I built with my hands and I blew from my spirit into your reality. Hasbunallahu wa ni'mal wakeel, if you have surrendered your affair to me correctly with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad you should find in your Muhammadan heart, I'm there, don't worry now. I'm going to send my arbabil against who's coming after you. And that's why Allah when shaitan was saying, I'm going to come after all your creations, say Allah said, come after who you want. Ya Abrar, who is, who is Abrar? Who is shaitan? He manifests in his friends. When he said, I'm going to come after all your creation, I said, come after whoever you want, go after their f false houses. But not my mukhlas, not my mukhlas, why? Because Allah is there. Qalb al mumin Baytullah, this is now the house of Allah And they keep asking, Ya Rabbi if it's your house and you're happy with this house, defend me. Allah said, I defend you in Surah Nasr and Aziza. No need for birds, I'll send angels with fire and lightning within their hands. And anyone who came against you their, their head has a target on it and I will obliterate all your opponents. Nothing will come towards you. What is it that you have to fear from if Allah is with you? How can anything come? But when we fear because we know maybe my heart maybe not a Kaaba, maybe there's some idols around, other things that I'm focusing on other things that is, is blocking my heart. We know our own doubt, we know what we do and what we don't do correctly. And Surat Al-Kahf is teaching us, no, no, this is the month, run from everything. Run into a cave then they clearly define what cave? The cave of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad in that cave. <coughs> There must be immense love. They have to have the love of the companions, they have to have the love of Ahlul Bayt, they have to have the love of whom Allah loves. And we gave the categories, there must be Ahlul Basira in their associations whom hearts are opening. They must have the characteristics of Salihin. Then Allah said, that's that house now, that cave is the right cave. If you're in that cave by virtue of being in the cave your heart will become like that cave and your heart will become a house of mine and I will be your defender. And every time shaitan comes to oppose and to destroy your belief, destroy your path, make everything to be difficult, Allah is reminding, I will defend you. My angels will come to destroy everything and everything behind will be scattered. And that's why in Kawthar and Surat Al-Kawthar is the same description. In Atainaka Al-Kawthar, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْهَرْ 
وَإِنْ شَأْنِكَ هُوَ الْأَبْتَارِ Abtar is not you have no children, this is retarded understanding. Abtar means your cut, everything from behind is cut, nothing will reach to you. Nothing will reach to you, all your opponents and enemies they no matter how much they want to come they can never reach to you because Allah is the defender. Allah says, I'm the awliya of my lovers, I'm the one whom defends their case. If awliya were the de defenders of mu'min and mukhlis, when Allah raised their reality Allah says, I'm your wali. I will defend your case and all my kingdom will be at your support. Yansurkallahu nasran aziza. So, seven times for seven realities and seven names. Every name in one of our paradises. And that the, the Kaaba and the heart has to do with the face. For what is the reality of the Divine Essence? Is seven holy openings of the face. And when we're reciting on seven times Surat Al-Feel, Allah is dispatching upon the reality of these seven openings. Because we don't know what we're asking for, awliya know what we're asking for. That Ya Rabbi we want, we said in the nat last night, I don't want anything that perishes, I'm not asking for paradise. I'm asking that you defend me and make my heart to be your, your place of worship, your Divinely Presence. But the Kaaba perishes, Bayt al Mahmud perishes. What doesn't perish? Wajallah, the Divinely face of Allah. So, means they're, they're asking, Yes, make my heart the Kaaba, yes, make my heart your Divinely presence. But in reality, Ya Rabbi, please open the Divine face within my existence. So, that all that I want is to be staring at that Divinely face. And these are the seven openings, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Surat of Feel to defend all of these realities. For how can Allah open here if you've given this to shaitan? How He's going to dress you from a Sami al Basir when your Sami and Basir is for shaitan? Your alim and your qadir. You want from Sifat al alim and qadir, you want to speak from Allah's ancient knowledges, but your mouth is for something else. You want the breath of al qadir and qudra, but yet you bring into your breath and to your lungs everything that forbidden. And hayya al nur, you want the ocean of hayat to dress your eye. But your high is for a different reality of dunya and the nur that you want from your eyes being extinguished by every satanic thing that you're looking at. So they're not teaching. The Ya Rabbi this Surat al feel is that shaitan is all over all of my reality, how am I going to reach this reality? So then things are happening more behind the scenes than in front. But they are sharing that reality for us to understand. There's a lot happening when they give you a awrad, nothing that you have to know because it's nothing that you can do. You merely follow the path, recite the recitings and slowly begin to learn and understand. There's an immense reality of Holy Qur'an. Every time we're reciting Holy Qur'an Allah is activating a reality because it's not only just the Furqan that you're reading. But this is Qur'an from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad because of Ashiqeen. It's from the knowledges of what Prophet is activating into our reality, not from what we understood. That that Holy Qur'an to dress us and take away all of these bad characteristics and that Allah defend the house, defend the heart on earth that has his divinely love and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.